Right, perfect. We have four. Do you know, we, we should be able to just, just plow through like this now. I need to keep some tanks in here. They've got divisions in, so... As long as there's allied divisions in some of these, we can then progress to the other ones. Brilliant, so this is gonna this is gonna sort this front line out nicely. And then we look to where our next attack is going to be. Capitulating Baghdad, or Iraq, as I should probably say, is gonna be good. Courtney Hodge is wounded. He's the leader of this, well, it doesn't matter. They're gonna be fine. And that looks like that is all very sweetly finished off. Well done, tanks. We did a great job there. So this army should assign all 24 divisions back to here. It has. Perfect. They should be moving out now. If they're not, then I might just give them a little bit yes, of a sir. hand with this. They're moving up there for some reason. I don't know why they don't want to occupy this area down here. Maybe it's to do with the attack order that we've got. It, it could be something to do with that. Once again, I think I might bring the, the other guys up, but supplies are likely to be horrific down here. So what we want to do is get onto this border. So let's bring the tanks up. Ready. And we're going to look for a, a sweet way of... Actually, let's, let's bring them all in here. And then... Do I even have... I don't think we'll meet too much in the way of, of nasty stuff down here. So let's go for some close air support. And I'll bring in some tactical bombers as well. Just for this. Where have they gone? That one and that one. Just because of the range. And then make sure they're added. Oh, it's okay. We do. But I mean, I don't mind having another 200 aircraft on this job. So that's, that's okay. So we're still losing the air war over the Alps. And yeah, I know. I should have trained these guys up a lot better. But apparently our heavy, heavy fighters fighting against enemy biplanes um, are losing at 3 to 1. It can only be because we, we're not trained. I can only assume. <laughs> it's such a terrible state of affairs, to be honest. We don't even have air superiority over the UK at the moment, which is awful. Anyway, I don't really care. Do you know what? Have the UK built any radar? Oh my god. Right, I, I, why do the enemy not do these things? They're useless. They're utterly useless. I don't know. I just don't know. The, your allies, you, you can't trust your allies for anything. So it seems. Right, uh, naval stuff is probably winding down. I don't think we're seeing many more big naval battles. What was that? Oh nice, well, we are, well that's, that's the UK getting involved there. Oh, what happened over here, by the way? We've got 24 divisions on there, but they're... The attrition is quite bad. The supply situation is, is awful. Um, I'm not moving them either way, though. Ready, sir. We've got Mountaineers. If I want to bring them in, I'll just add them to the uh, Italian army, which is currently chilling in Spain. Well, in Portugal, on the Spanish border. So that army has stopped the enemy advance into Italy. That's good. These guys are planning something major. Do I want to try and get behind the river? I don't think I want to get behind the river. If I do that, no. We'll, we'll hold off on that. So this is going to be the next major thing. Let's just click on yes, how we're doing over there. We've got... 100 days left, which I knew it would be a long time. I did know that was going to be a while to do. Apart from the Marines, they could go in today, but um, could they, they hold Cherbourg? I could order them to go and do something else in the meantime and then bring them back. Like, if we could... If we could take... I don't think I really want to. I think it's too risky. I think it's far too risky. Let's go and focus our efforts in the Middle East. Did we get our tanks in position? We did. Excellent. Where am I going to do this cut-off then? We're going to go to there, then I'm going to leave one division. And then 
Oh, we, we're going for this. Actually, we're going for this. Can our armor withstand all that? That's a lot of supplies. We'll support them with a big sweep through there. Will we? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Right, let's just leave one behind. And I'm going to grab that one to start off with. But the tanks are going, and I don't think they're going to meet a whole lot of resistance. And that's when we get these guys. And I'm going to put them on an order like that. Now, this, this is going to need redrawing pretty quickly. Well, they're going, but supplies are already running low. Alexander Patch falls ill. And an agent has been killed. An agent forced into hiding. Yeah, I think our efforts to contact the resistance maybe weren't overly effective there. Let's just batter in through there. The tanks are going. We're going into Batman. Batman? Is that really a place in Turkey? So we might hit the point where our tanks can't progress any further in a minute due to supply limitations. Right, so this is the point where we can now safely uh, draw that back to there and get all the divisions on that side. We're still moving. We're still moving out. Although some guys are retreating. We should have enough guys going with us, I think. Yes, sir. Yeah, you move up there. Because what we actually want to do is try and take that place as well. We need to try and, and, and meet up Ready, here. Sir. Taking the airfield is going to be nice. The infantry is doing an astounding job, actually. The 1948 Imperial Conference. That, that actually can have bad things for Great Britain and the Empire. Uh, which we don't really want at this stage. Hang on. Attack from this side. Help. Come on, into Diakabar. We get that. That's that's quite the coup again. And we've got a nice little cut-off. And we'll storm in and take some... Guys, make sure you're helping. Don't, don't not help. Yes, sir. Everything needs to help here. Come on, they are they are crumbling. They are they throwing in reinforcements? No, we've we've got them. Send the tanks in. Holy crap! Something keeps stopping. Screw it! I'll send five divisions of infantry in. I will. I will have it. It shall be mine. And six armor divisions. Come on. Can we do this? No, we can't. Okay. Right. Stop. 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 <laughs> We nearly pulled off an, an impressive cut-off there. We need to railroad these guys out back to Aleppo. Let them get their fuel and everything back. And then we'll storm them back in. Yeah, that's, that's obviously going to be bad for these chaps for the moment. It's okay, we've got enough divisions in there. And we need to knock Iraq out of the war. So, what's our situation here? We should have... Cool, we've got 30 divisions. This is awesome news. Right. Brilliant. Brilliant. I don't know what to do with them all yet, though. Three, four, five, six. Actually, I kind of do know what to do with you guys. Where's that one? Put you into there. I don't think all 20... I don't think all those divisions are going to be... Assigned to the naval invasion order. That's okay. They'll they'll come in afterwards as reserves. Once we form the front line, so we have somewhere. I've just created a brand new army, and I don't know where I've put them. It's not in the Europe one. It's not in the France one. What did I have selected? Oh, I haven't actually selected them yet. Right. There we go. Six. No, hang on. U6 are supposed to go to to there. So where are the others? I just Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. <laughs> uh, I don't know who to assign these to. Asia, definitely not Norway. Probably Europe. Probably Europe. Let's let's put you in there. 
And let's give you a nice bright color so we can find you. And a new general. And let's get you over to somewhere in the UK. Bristol will do. Ready. Put you in there. And when you get there, you can train. So that they'll, they'll figure out how to get there. They'll train up. We'll bring them in when they're ready. So the, the France. Yes, the France situation. Are we halfway there? We are halfway there. That's absolutely fine. That gives me time to have another little look down here. They might, if they're stupid, Ready, they sir. might pull in a load of troops to try and defend all this, which means that we can then storm in and grab this place. Or we can go for a more conservative attack. No, I think we're going to be fine. Right, tanks are nearly recovered. Let's move them up. Seems to be supply flown up here, so we're going to move them up there, and we're going to try and grab this one here. We can get support from the other side. It is... It's just hills. We should be okay in there. Ten divisions of tanks. It should be enough. I'll probably send them in before we get the whole lot, though. Yes, sir. Let's take... Let's take five. I don't need all ten. Truscott falls ill. I, that, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate timing. Attack from the other side as well. And let's make sure you don't reinforce there. So it looks like we've got this. This looks good. Yeah, I think the enemy... Oh, we've got that one anyway. So we're not... They're going to they're gonna pull out to the north, which is absolutely fine. Brilliant. Tanks are in. Just the job. This is uh, the opportunity to finish these guys off now. Can we do this? I think we can. Um, I'm not sure about this one. Oh, it's okay. Everything seems to have crumbled very nicely. Yes, sir. Just the job. And um, this is going to free France, is it? And that allows us that's gonna allow us to set up some orders to sweep through Baghdad. I could I could bring up a naval invasion and attack Baghdad from this side. I absolutely could do that. We're not going to though. We're going into northern France with our Marines next. It's part of the plan. Uh, yeah, I'll have a new agent, even though I don't really care too much about this at this point. And we've got civilian factories. So that's good news. So for civilian factories, do we have... I don't see anything on this side. So let's build something around about here. Uh, actually, let's, let's go... Let's go here. And let's just add in our rail route like that. And make sure those are going up. I don't know that we're getting a great deal out of supplies through there. Can we boost that as well? That's going to be one of our big supply lines. Oh, I, I see. I see. Yeah, this isn't great news either, is it? Well, let's not mess about here. Let's make sure that we can bring maximum supplies from these ports, because I think those are quite important. And we've got the, we've got the industrial capacity to do this, so that's what we can, we can enjoy it for now. Brilliant. Okay, let's get the blue army on here. Yes, sir. And let's just shorten that line just a touch. And your new order, should you choose to accept it, is to knock out... Actually, I don't want to go up there through the mountains, so we're going to do that. We'll get a nice plan going on. And for these guys, who are reasonably well experienced now, we will... I will order that. Yeah, let's put the order in. We don't, we don't need to trigger it. We just get the planning bonuses and stuff. And we've got some more troops. Nice. We should have... Oh, this is a new... This is a new force that's coming into being. Cool. I'll put these into... I don't know who to put these into, actually. They're not going in the Middle East. Why does it paint them brown every time? Green. We'll put them into the France command. Actually, these ones should probably want to be in the France command because they're going to be coming in from the north. Cool. 
Come on then, how long now? Not long. This is going to be an exciting move. Okay, we're now, we're now starting to stretch the enemy's capabilities, which is good. And we can start looking to see where their weakness is. They, they can't defend everywhere all at once. And I think Turkey is going to come back into the fold. There's going to be huge supplies issues around here. But there isn't. Attention. Um, actually, where's my tanks at? I've Move spotted out. another cutoff here, and we're going to go for it. I think we've got enough supply to get through. Nice having the airfield right there. The enemy are moving in. Improved oil processing. Yeah, just, just keep that one going. Keep that one going, my man. Yes, sir. We'll leave two, and then we'll go up there, and leave two, and then we'll crash into there. Nice, that should, that should get us through. How about adding a little bit of support from here just to speed that along? Paratroopers 1, Paratroopers 2. Uh, is there any, I don't think there's anything else we can get. We can get special forces, oh, we can do naval stuff, hang on. I don't think the navy stuff really matters. Oh, we're not getting much XP for navy. I should probably have spent that on marines actually, that would have been better. But, uh, but never mind. Paratroopers. Let's spend all the air experience that we've got. So, I don't know if I'm even going to make any. What does this one give us? Enemy divisions in states we para drop into will have their current organisation reduced. That's good. Enemy controlled states we para drop into will receive damage to military factories. I don't really affect... No, I don't care about that one so much. Let's go for that one. And then... Airborne medical detail? Strategic airlift, paratrooper transport space factor, and supply grace. Backbone of the armed forces, special forces attack. What's on this side then? Breakthrough, soft attack, supply use and organization. Yeah, I don't know. Recovery rate's good. Oh, okay. Let's go down this one, because when you drop paratroopers, they're always a, like a disorganized mess. If I drop them, and I don't think I will, because I think I might struggle to get air superiority. At any, at any one place I want to drop them in. But they're going to be there as an option. I'll just put four divisions on there just to assist this, but... I mean, I don't think it's going to make the difference. Tanks are hammering through. I think they're going to get it. We'll, we'll come back. We're going to assume they're going to get it. This is looking good. Supplies looking excellent over here. But then... No, I, th I think we can actually hit the Germans there, can't we? Do we not have as many... Oh, it looks like they were moving in, anyway. Yes, sir. Oh, they're coming down here. Attention. Uh, can Move we out. do that way? Ready, sir. I, can't, I can't tell who's, who's where anymore. Oh, Is this not triggering any fights? You can't actually see the borders on here very well because it's all black. That has actually sorted out my army's front lines a little bit better, I am pleased to say. Ready. We've got five divisions here. Oh, well, actually one can stay there. Yeah, now we've got the fight. I can't see where those are, but it looks like I think we're going to I think we're going to take them all anyway. Brilliant. So that's that's doing its thing. We're getting the front line that we wanted over here. It's, it's tiny compared to what's going on. What's in Norway? What's in Norway today? Look at this. The Norway, the supplies have come through. We're ready to kick this off. There's a whole lot of stuff there. I've spotted a massive weakness there. We can cut off a crap ton of divisions. Right. Can we do this? Is that possible? I'm going to stop there, actually. Let's, let's do this sensibly. And let's get an attack order through to there. Oh, I've only done it with 12 divisions. Hang on. That was stupid, Mark. Operation Dark Wolf. We'll come back to that in a bit, once it's had a little bit of planning time and preparation. And we'll see if we can storm through that. And then if we can cut all those off up there, that's going to be a nice little harvest for us. 
Norway's the, the Norway invasion's done its thing. It's liberated Norway, which is great. But more importantly, oh, there's a big British army down there. More importantly, it's pulled a lot of German divisions away, and they're not doing great up there. On this front, this is definitely weakening out. Did we get in in Turkey? I can't even see where we are. Yes, we did. Excellent news. Right. Ready. Pile in with the tanks. Move out. Once again, we're going to just harvest back, divisions. Sir. Okay. We're doing much better now. Now we've got this front opened. How's this front looking? Supplies are looking very ropey up here. Do you know what? There's also infrastructure I can build. Although by the time we actually get anywhere with it... Ooh, that's, that's not good, is it? By the time we get anywhere with that, it's probably going to be too late. This is another thing we can do up here, by the way. A bit of local infrastructure. I will do it up there, because at some point we're going to also have to uh, supply through them anyway. Attention. Did we not get this done? Move out. Ready. Oh, you guys have already beaten them. Right, okay, we don't need to do that then. Nice, look at this. Yes, sir. Oh, there is something in there. Ready, sir. Well, let's make sure we grab it. All in. And I don't think there's anything left down here. And this is about to become ours, which is excellent. China. What's going on in China, actually? We can't actually see, but have these guys signed some sort of peace? No, they're still at war with everyone. British Parliament debates intervention in the Benelux. Uh, what? China. I can't see any fighting. I think it's looking better for China. But I'm happy about that to roll. Actually, people did say one suggestion was to Invite them to the faction. It must be democratic. Okay, so we can't invite them in because they're non-democratic. Non nice idea, though. And if we, Because I was worried about them, the other lot joining the Allies and dragging us into a war with China. And they said, if you invite China to the faction, then it gets around that. It was a great suggestion, but uh, alas, it can't be done. Uh, that's this force, right? Attention. Let's start training these guys up and let's put a, a commander in there. Actually, I have a better commander. He's an armor commander, so I might want him for the modern tanks. Yeah, I'm going to want him for the modern tanks. He's quite good on supply as well. That's cool then. Uh, you yes, can actually sir. start training up. How are we doing? Are we ready to go? Oh, six days, folks. Six days? Six days. We're going to see this. This is going to be awesome. So, we were messing about. This is a mess, isn't it? Don't think I want to get involved in there. I'll leave the Allies to do that bit. So, the tanks came through. The tanks captured everything. Are we going to do a sweep round of Iraq? Or are we going to try and... I am tempted. I'm very tempted, actually. Let's, let's plow north through here. And we're going to split these armies in two. So... Let's get um, all 10 armored divisions. Ready. And we're just going to go through. Actually, I'm going to go to that port there, I think. Is that the way I want to do it? Possibly. Let's, let's gather up here. This looks like an easier way through. Maybe before I do that, actually, I'll go and take that port. There's a, there's a port there we can grab. I'm going to go get it. Because that, that would help us more than anything else. So, all ten armoured divisions. Move out. There and there. Okay, let's get sorted out. And we're going to go into Adana. Because it's it supplies for us and not for them. And then once our infantry advances to take it, I think we'll just send them, everyone up here, behind this river. I think that seems like the plan. Unless I want to push a bit further forward and get the other port as well. I think I might do that too. Attention. Let's get it. Another senator speaking out against government policy. Tut tut. Yeah, we'll take those. In fact, with that being the plan then. Attention. 
Um, I feel like I may wish to... Yeah, go on, I'm going to take that. So we've got some we've got some railroad behind us. German Rikers decrypted our ciphers. I should be using that. I should be triggering that a lot more than I have been doing. Excellent. Bring in the infantry. And I can spot... Yes, I'll tell you what, we'd better leave two armoured divisions here. And we're going to go back up there. I'll leave one behind. We're going to get a small cut off. It's not, it's not a huge pocket we're going to get here, but yes, it's, it's absolutely fine. And I can't actually see where this ends, but we're going to draw it in some somewhere. And then we're going to split this country in two. And then I'm going to have a blue army on one side and a pink army on the other facing the opposite direction. And we should be good to go. Which one do I want to get into here? This one. Brilliant. We've got stuff going in already. That's, that's excellent news. Bring all the tanks up now. These guys are cut off. going to wait and then we're going to very soon get some more tanks coming in there. Ready, sir. Let's give a little bit of help from that side. Attention. Um, why? Oh, it is going. It's okay. It is It is crumbling. Perfect. Brilliant. More divisions scooped up. We haven't split Turkey in two yet, so that's going to be my next objective. Where are we aiming for here? Uh, give me... I may as well follow the rail line. The rail line sounds like the best bet. So let's get all the tanks in these two locations here. We've got more of you guys. Excellent. So that's nearly a whole of that. Oh, I better check. I might be putting Italian units in there. And awesome. Once again, we've got this done. So... I love my industry. My industry is excellent. We're going to need this probably to improve the situation down here when we go in, which I think is now good to go, right? You guys are good? This is going to be awesome. The invasion of northern France begins. D-Day, just four years late. Brilliant. Germany's... Yeah, okay. Germany's struggling now. They, they can't be everywhere all at once. Over here. Uh, over here, our allies have gone in. Oh, God. Back, Actually, give me half. We need to help with this. We absolutely need to help with this. Because otherwise, these guys are going to get killed. And I suspect that this is going to be the case anyway. Well, we're pinning them down. Yeah, they've, they've been nuked. And also, it's destroyed my attack order because the land's changed. That's, that's, that's always extremely annoying. <laughs> but anyway, we've achieved our purpose and we have yes, got sir. in here, which is just what we wanted. Move out. So at the same time, let's assign a bit of, a bit of support to that. And we can get there. Now, did we get in? Pause. Because we have gone in some places. We got in with eight divisions. Holy crap. So it looks like... Right. I need to... Our allies have instantly gone in here. Something does not look right. How many divisions have we got here? Uh, give me half of them. We want DF. We want the port. Urgently. And this is okay. So get the marines. This is, you have to watch every single thing that you ever do. Right, so the marines need to then storm around here. Are there, are there more divisions coming? Or is that it? We didn't get nuked. I mean, we... we we, we've managed to sort of hold our ground, but what we need to do is make sure everyone gets onto these flipping things. So the Marines have managed to push out. We've got Cherbourg, which is which is excellent. All right, that's that's like a, that's a, a major win right there. I will I will take that. Um, are we going to need to try and? push up here 
<laughs> ah, this is a mess. Okay, this is going to require a little bit of finicky sorting out, I think. A long time, alongside everything else going on. Uh, where are we? Right, so far, so good. 